All right, so the draw for Brisbane has just come out. It's the first time in four years that we've got this event as a standalone event. And we're going to start with the WTA draw because Naomi Osaka is coming back for the first time in a while. Also, Sabalenka, we're back and are playing this event. It's a big, big draw. It's a 500 event as well. Let's go see who's not playing in this event, though, this year. So there's a couple of big names that have pulled out of this one. Starting with Bagu, she's pulled out. Madison Keys has pulled out. Mukova has pulled out, and we know that she's also pulled out of the Australian Open. So massive name there missing from the draw. And Podoroska has also pulled out of this one. So they're only the four players so far who are missing the first event of the year. But let's go to the draw because this is a very stacked event with some very big names. All right, here we go. This is the draw. You can see there we've got 16 seeds in this one, and every seed gets a buy in the first round. So we won't see any big names playing each other in the first round, only the unseeded players. Sabalenka, number one seed, she gets a buy in the first round to take on either Bronzetti or Kruger in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Collins. Winner of that will take on the number 15 seed, Zoo in the second round. So straight away, you can see that a potential third round between Sabalenka and Collins, which would be a fireworks match. Then you've got Lynette. She gets a buy in the first round, the number nine seed. She'll take on either Buxa or Minin in the second round. Then you've got Bogdan taking on Kostruk. Winner of that will take on the number five seed, Dasha Kazakina. So that's the top quarter of the draw. Sabalenka, I mean, dangerous players like Collins, of course, could be very, very dangerous. But, you know, Lynette, I think she might have played her at the Australian Open last year, so she can beat her. Uh, Kazakina, I mean, maybe on a fast court, tough for her to beat Sabalenka. But I tell you what, Sabalenka, the Australian Open champion, not too mad about that section of the draw. Not too many dangerous players. Then, the next section of the draw, you've got number three seed, Ostapenko, gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either the winner of Stearns or Georgie in the second round. So maybe Georgie, Ostapenko, second round, always fireworks. Then you've got... Uh, Naomi Osaka coming back for the first time in a long time. She takes on Korpach in the first round. Winner of that will take on Pliskova, the 16th seed in the second round. Then you've got Kalanina, the 12th seed, taking on either a qualifier or Boro in the second round. Then you've got Kalanskaya taking on Pera. Winner of that will take on the number 8 seed, Azarenka, in the second round. This section of the draw feels like the most dangerous because you've got a couple of big names. Of course, Pliskova's won this tournament before. You've got Ostapenko, Azarenka. And then the unseeded players. You've got Georgie and, of course, Osaka being the big one that everyone's focusing on this week. So I feel like that section is the most dangerous section of the entire draw, at least the dangerous quarter of the draw. And, of course, Nemo Osaka's in that section as well. So that's going to be really fun. Next quarter of the draw, you've got the number seven seed, Alexandrova, gets a buy in the first round. Should take on the winner of a qualifier or Tomova in the second round. Then you've got Nozkova taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number 10 seed, Kastea, in the second round. Then you've got the number 14 seed, Kennan. She'll take uh, on either Roddy Nova or Trevison in the second round. Then you've got Schneider taking on Andreva. Winner of that will take on the number 4 seed, Samsonova, in the second round. Very interesting section here. I mean, the seeds, Kennan, you know, did have a good end to the year by winning in an exhibition against uh, Sabalenka. Kastea also played pretty well in that same event. Samsonova, she's been on and off all year uh, in 2023, so that could be really interesting. And then I guess, you know, Andreva being the big one that everyone's going to focus on when it comes to unseeded players and, and young players. So this could be an open section of the draw, and maybe we do get a random player come out of this section. Bottom quarter of the draw now, you've got, you've got Kudamatova, the sixth seed, taking on uh, either Sh uh, Schmidlova or Dollarhide in the second round. Then you've got Savile taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either, uh, will take on the number 11 seed, Potapova. Then you've got the 13 seed, Merton. She'll take on either Siniakova or Stevens in the second round. Then you've got Burrell taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number two seed, Rabakina, in the second round. And if you're a Rabakina fan, you got to like that draw. That is a very nice draw. Not too many dangerous players. Even the seeds aren't super dangerous. Kudamatova ha can have her times, but very it's 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 she's very hit and miss and also she can play the big guns and lose badly as we've seen her play Shviontek a bunch and lose badly so i would say rebecca in a section might be the best for the top four seed she's probably got the nicest draw and should make it to the semis uh, of course some of the matchups we could get uh with sabalenka possibly playing osaka sabalenka ostapenko the top half in the semis could be a thing or even samson over versus rebecca in the bottom half of the draw of course, Samsonova has been a little bit of a pain for Rebecca in 2023, so that could be dangerous, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that uh, Rebecca has got the best draw? Sabalenka's also got a pretty nice draw. I do think that where Osaka's placed is very, very dangerous for everybody, including the seeds. 
But it's going to be interesting. It's interesting when the top uh, eight, uh, top 16 seeds have a buy in the first round because a lot of players get a second round entry without having to do anything. Uh, but there are dangerous unseeded players that could really make things interesting. But there it is. Brisbane International, the first tournament of the year. And Osaka is back. But so is Sabalonka. And we're back in it.